Welcome, welcome to the quarterfinals between B and Marine Lord. Marine Lord going to be playing as the Rus. B going to be playing as the Delhi Sultanate. We're here on Nomad Mega Random. And we're going to have to see where players look to place their TC. And Marine Lord going to be dropping it here on this sacred site. Interesting positioning. I, I am very confused as to why he's put it here. I'll be honest, I'm giving this a, a 2 out of 10 placement. I mean... Yeah, it's, this is, I mean, you're screwing up the sacred site. You've got a little bit of water. But you don't have a lot of wood. You don't have a, a gold nearby. But you are securing up the sacred site. And obviously, B playing as the Delhi. He loves his sacred sites. So... It makes a lot of sense as to why my why Marine Lord has placed it on the sacred site, but I I don't know if, if sacrificing you know resources for a sacred site is worth it. But it's, it's going to be what he does. B on the other hand going to be placing his town center next to this river, which has some nice shoreline fish. So this is a pretty good spawn for him. He's got a nice uh, gold vein here as well as the boar. Unfortunately, I can't take the uh, can't take the boar because he is playing Delhi. But we do have wheelbarrow coming through as well as survival techniques obviously playing the deli you do get those free upgrades so may as well queue them up while you can and there we go B's just going to be immediately onto the the wood here and i'd expect that to be for a dock i'd be very surprised if we if we don't see a dock marine lord on the other hand has a dock up north uh not that many fish here all going to be shoreline fish in fact, this is this is pretty bad. Five shoreline fish. I think this one has more shore. They, they have the same. They have the same. Okay. Um, yeah, probably not the best, but yeah, that's that's pretty unfortunate for Marine Lord. At least they are uh, roost fishing ships. So they won't have to move, you know, from here to here um, when gathering the fish. And we've also got six shoreline fish over here as well. So Marine Lord's side does still have some pretty decent fish. Uh, rules what rules understood you can take a ball f with Muslim sibs so uh, it, it, it's in game basically you can't kill a ball um, well you can kill a ball you can kill it but you, you can't gather it as a as a Muslim sib it's a, like a it's an in game rule it's you know it's part of the game it's a it's a decision that the devs made because in real life Muslims can't eat pork so it, yeah it's it's not a not a rule that i've made but b gonna be still gathering up with lots of wood gonna be going for the uh the heavy fishing economy here and i think b has got the uh the better spawn marine lord's still gonna be gathering up a lot of uh, uh wood as well fortunately his his uh tox isn't as good as bees but Maybe Marine Lord looks to move down to this southern, uh, or not, it's not really southern, it's eastern, eastern pond as well. But the question is, is Marine Lord, he, he knows about this river, he's also gathering up a lot of bounty, which is good for him. I'm not sure if B's been uh, aware of that, but I don't think he's even got a, a scout out. Does B have a scout? He does have a scout, okay, so he, yeah, he's taken a little bit here. But uh, yeah, Marine Lord's done a good job so far. But he's, he's spotted out this river. He knows B's on it. So the question is, does Marine Lord later on in the game look to try and pull a villager over to this river and drop down a dock? I, I think it I think it could be worth it to get down, to get, to get out a couple, uh, to get, to try, or to try and just push this off. But again, it's very tricky for, uh, for them, for, for, for Marine Lord to push this because of this town center. This is what B has been doing in all of his games, right? He's been placing his town center next to the river. And that means if Marine looks to push him off, he can just bring all of his ship, uh, fishing ships underneath his town center and B can just sit inside with his villagers very, very happily. So we'll have to see how that works out for him a bit later on. But for the time being, B's looking in a pretty good spot and Marine Lord's not looking too bad either. Very, very, uh, very even so far. But the question is, can Marine Lord keep it that way with B having such a such a nice river? That is the question. That is going to be the question. But we do see Marine Lord's probably going to be the first one to age up, which is pretty standard as the Roos. Obviously, you get all of your gold through the uh, the bounty, so you can focus all of your efforts on gathering up food. 
And it is, of course, going to be the Golden Gate. Both players actually aging up at pretty much the same time there. Four villagers on the Golden Gate, whereas uh, for B, it's going to be five on the Dome of the Faith. Now we've got to look at Sacred Site spawns, because this one is going to be very, very easy for B to... That, this is a really cool spawn, by the way. It's going to be very easy for B to, to keep hold of. Literally, like, this is all covered. You can literally just stick a wall here and it's safe. All right, wall there, or wall there, and wall there. That's pretty nice. But that's going to be a very easy sacred site for B to capture. This one's definitely going to be the one that's uh, contested. And this one, yeah, there's, there's no chance B's getting this one. So this one is definitely going to be the the battlefield the, or the battle point but dome of the faith is going to be the first one to be complete so there's one extra vault on that landmark and we do actually see b has spotted out this stock over here now it, it wouldn't surprise me if uh, he he pulls a villager over there or something like that but have a look at this marine lord has actually decided to go for go for a, a dock over here now he could always just look to get down like a wall here and just sort of take this fish for himself it's going to be interesting to see if he looks to put on some pressure or not because b has built his dock in a position where this can be punished he but obviously he can just pull his ships underneath this town center so we'll have to find out see what uh marine lord's plan is but for the time being it's just going to be a couple lodger ships lodger fishing ships but you can always convert them so it'll be interesting to see what he decides to do. We can actually see, there we go, a Lodger Galley is in the queue. This one is not going to be converted. So it looks like he wants to just put on a little bit of pressure. And B, on the other hand, is going to go for extended lines. It's going to take a while though. Obviously, two minutes, uh, two minutes, ten seconds is quite a, quite a long time for a for an upgrade for your for your your dock to be idle. But I guess uh, I guess it's worth it. So definitely a nice upgrade to grab, especially for free. Moss going to get dropped down as well for B. Sanctity going to be immediately queued up. We see Scholar's going to be jumping inside of there as well. And here we go. The Lodge Galley is attacking B's fishing ships right here. Immediately cancels. Bagler immediately put in the queue for B. I like it. And we see here Marine Lord trying to take out these uh, ships and... <laughs> You know, Delhi fishing ships actually do a lot of damage towards uh, towards Marine Lord's galley right here. You definitely need more than just the one. And now it's going to be a problem for him when this bagler comes out as well. Arrow slits coming through from Marine Lord. I like that move a lot. Definitely makes sense. It's an expensive uh, upgrade though. Have a look at that. 125 stone, 75 wood. It's, it's expensive. It is really, really expensive. But I think it'll be worth it for him because... You don't want to be losing this this part of the fishing eco when you've only got th uh, this in, in the base. But Marine Lord going to be pulling forward two villagers now. Going for a hunting cabin on this... Uh, oh, not the hunting cabin. The wooden fortress, sorry. On this, this wood line here. And hey, Angelica, thank you so much for the raid. 175 people. I hope, you, uh, hope you're enjoying the tournament. I did see you were, you were casting some of it. Really do appreciate that. But back to the game. We have uh, B... Moving in now with two horsemen. Going to be able to take out some of these villagers here, but Spearman comes in in time for Marine Lord. Villager might still be going down, though. It certainly is. These other two should be safe, though, with this one Spearman. More Spearman coming out for him as well. No other production building down quite yet for Marine Lord. Only the stable down for B for the time being as well. But Double Blacksmith does indicate a lot of H2 pressure. And it makes a little sense. You really want to secure up the sacred site. Especially as you've got one very safe back at home. But that hunting, uh, that wooden fortress is going to be going up. Lumber camp behind it as well. Seems like Marine Lord's a little bit short on wood. So wants to move out to this, uh, to, sl to this slightly southern place. So, so slightly southern wood line. Another lumber camp getting dropped down as well. It's a good place for B to focus on though. Wouldn't be surprised to see some villagers getting pulled forward for for maybe an outpost here. That would not surprise me whatsoever. But Sanctity going to be coming in. Five seconds away. No scholar out quite yet on this uh, southern sacred site. Or uh, western sacred site. But Sanctity is in so we're going to have to see. Demo ship. Whoa, B. 
doing a lot of damage there to the ships. Aristus is through, though, on this dock. So it's going to be doing a lot of damage here. And we see how much damage it's doing to that Dow. It's just got such crazy range as well. So fortunately for Marine Lord, not going to be losing anything there. But another Lodger Galley coming through as well. Nothing on this uh, eastern pond quite yet. And now we've got double archery ranges coming down from Marine Lord. Looks like he wants the triple archery range. That's a lot of feudal pressure from both of these players right here. Only the one archery range so far from B. And now we have scholars moving out. This scholar's probably going to be moving to this uh, this western one. We can see B is actually... What's he doing with this scholar? Does he think there's a sacred site up here? Not exactly sure where this one's off to. There's not even a relic up here to, uh, to do much, so... That one's a little bit confusing to me, but... Beast is going to keep on the pressure with the horsemen. Archer's coming out as well. I need the two production buildings still. Whereas for Marine Lord, he's going for a fourth one. Wow, okay. That's heavy, heavy, heavy archer production right there. As well as the blacksmith coming down for those. Uh, I'd expect steeled arrow and iron under mesh upraise first. But also spearmen still being produced from that one barracks. He's going to need it up against B's horsemen, which he's... Making quite a lot of, but first sacred site going to be captured. Second one over here as well is shortly going to be captured up as well. And water looking pretty happy for both players right now. Marine Lord is ahead, and that's that's definitely down to this uh, this nice little little fishing eco over here as well, which is always nice. But B does have extended lines. I don't think Marine Lord has that quite yet. But we see village is going to get pushed off the berries once again by these uh, by these spearmen. B needs to be careful. Doesn't want to overextend. We do know there are four archery ranges down. He doesn't want to be captured or... He doesn't want to get caught off guard, that's for sure. But these walls are going down now for B. He wants to just sort of confine Marine Lord into this into this corner. But honestly, it's a pretty nice corner. If, if, if I was to be stuck in a corner, this is the corner I'd want. But Marine Lord going to be pushing forward now with his spearmen and archers. And that sacred site is going to be recaptured. It looks like B is going to be losing the sacred site. Doesn't have much of an army for the time being. Horsemen numbers not quite enough to deal with the uh, the spearmen that that Marine Lord have has. That scholar might be going down if it's not careful. Does go down unfortunately. But B, still having one sacred site is very, very nice for him. It's going to be it's going to be enough gold to... It, it means he can age up. And we can see village is going to get pulled back here from the berries. And probably the same villagers that are going to be used for this age up. We see B has enough resources in the bank to do so. Question is, what's the landmark he's going to be... What landmark is he going to be using? And there it is, House of Learning. So I like, I like the move here, House of Learning. And it looks like B wants to try and push this away. Early Knight's coming out from Marine Lord now as well. And just to let you guys know, up here, where it says B doesn't have any uh, upgrades in, he does in fact have eco upgrades in. It just doesn't display it on here. But we can see here, Marine Lord... Is looking to target down lots of those, uh, lots of those archers, and uh, this could be bad for B. He needs to. He doesn't have a lot of production out. Oh, he's only got the one stable. This could. This could be bad for him. Only the one stable is. is it, it, this could be really bad. We see knights are in the queue. There, scholars in there as well. B going to be losing out on quite a few villagers there as well. Marine Lord really, really taking a lead here. And 
But Marine Lord looking really strong here. The early knights are definitely needed. Just at the moment, B just doesn't have any production out. He's got another stable over here making knights, but honestly, knights aren't aren't the best choice here. Like, Marine Lord's got early knights of his own. He's also got spearmen. And you really do need a, a large amount of knights to deal with, with spearmen. Even if they're an age behind. And these two rams are going to start to do quite a bit of damage. And we can just see yeah, the amount of damage these archers do. Even to, to horsemen. Especially in an, an archer mass like this. Spearmen on the front line there as well. Able to deal with those knights. That barracks, uh, this stable, sorry, is going to be going down. Archer ships try, trying to get in on the action. Not going to be doing too much damage though. Yeah, they do barely any damage at this point. As uh, Marino does have iron under, un, iron under mesh through. Still no bloomery in for... Oh no, he does have bloomery, sorry. he uh, Still no fitted leather work. Which might be wanted as you're up against lancers, but... Honestly, reducing the damage by one doesn't really achieve too much, but... It's always nice to have. But the early knights and... and uh, and Spearman doing really, really well for Marine Lord right now. And we can see he's so far ahead in Eco right now. And that's really due to him. At Have a look at all that fishing. Wow, that is a lot of... Uh, well, actually, it's a lot of boats. He's got a lot of attack ships in there. But Ram's going to be starting to focus down the houses now. Men at arms out for B. Only the one for the time being. And this is this is the problem up against Roos. They've got early knights. Early knights absolutely shred men at arms. Yeah, well, I say that and until you have a substantial mass of men at arms, early knights will deal with them. Whereas in, in other matchups, it's, it wouldn't be as much of a big deal uh, if you only have a couple men at arms because they don't really do a lot of damage to them. Uh, it's spearmen and archers. It's, it's really the early knights that can deal with the, the men at arms. But B does still have four scholars here, so he's going to be able to heal them up. He's a heavily armored unit, so. But the age up going to be going through now for for Marine Lord. Of course, the Abbey of the Trinity, definitely a smart move here. He's got most of the relics actually in his sort of, his, his base. He's got one here, one here. And B looking to try and push Marine Lord back here. Just healing up all of the damage done with these scholars. Needs to make sure he doesn't lose any of these units. Even if he loses one, that could be a, that could be a problem. And there we go. Marine Lord hits the Castle Age. Are we going to be seeing some men at arms now of his own? House of Learning is working away. We're 1 minute, 32, 1 minute 52 away from Honed Blades. That's going to be affecting pretty much every single unit he's got at the moment. The, the Lancers and the men at arms. So it's going to be a nice upgrade. Question is, can he hold on for that long? Because Marine Lord is really, really ramping up the pressure right here. Baglers might be able to get some nice damage off here as well. Another ram being dropped. Do we have a siege workshop down from uh, from Marine Lord quite yet? Not yet. Might want to think about that soon. But we can just see here, B is trying to make something work with these men at arms, but it's just not enough. The mass, the mass from Marine Lord is just too much. But B's lance mass is looking pretty decent now. You can always look to put some, some damage onto Marine Lord's base with those, but... It's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. Marine Lord looking pretty good with his Spearman numbers. Their veteran seat as well. So he's going to be looking pretty decent here up against this amount of Lancers. The question is, are the Scholars enough? Marine Lord, is he going to be focusing down the Scholars? Yes, he is. There we go. Yeah, he one-shots the Scholars with this this amount of uh, archers. And we see perfect micro coming through from Marine Lord right there. Unfortunately, still not enough Spearmen, though. Spearmen doing uh, doing a really good job there. Uh, uh, just holding holding back the, the Lancers while Marine Lord focuses down the Scholars. But that was still a pretty decent fight up against... Uh, it's still a pretty decent fight for Marine Lord. Spearmen are a cheap, cheap unit, so he can afford to do that. Another mosque gets dropped down for B, as he did lose his original one. Needs to make some more scholars. Double mo uh, mosque getting dropped down. And it looks like Marino's just keeping up the pressure. Lots of lancers. Lots of lots of spearmen. Demo ships coming through from Marine Lord. Uh oh, this could be a problem. This could be a problem for B. He's going to be jumping inside of the town center. 
huge damage coming through. Gonna be able to take out quite a lot of the bagglers right there. But I don't think it's gonna be possible for Marine Lord to try and take out any of that water eco. But Marine Lord's still very far ahead in eco. And he's gonna be picking up the relics soon as well. He's, uh, he's picked up one so far, and I think he's bringing it. Yeah, there it is, bringing it back. And he's still keeping up the pressure here as well. Marine Lord just playing this so well. Scholars keeping these lances alive on the back line. Crossbows coming out from, from Marine Lord now as well, though. Lots of archers are being killed here, though. He, M Marine Lord needs more spearmen. There's, there's not that much coming. He needs more reinforcements than this. Crossbows are going down as well. But GG gets called. B resigns. I think that might be due to his fishing going down here as well. But there it is. The first game goes over to Marine Lord. 1-0 so far in this set. Bear in mind, whoever wins this set goes through to the semi-finals of the Nomadic Clash. So if you did enjoy this, please do feel free to leave a like. And I'll catch you guys in the next game.